Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekend advice reading for the weekend of December the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Um, so um, I just wanted to wish everyone um, a happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, um, I don't know, whatever it is that you're celebrating, happy holiday season. I hope that it is filled with joy, with peace, and laughter. Um, and that you get to share it with those who you love and who love you. Um, okay, and so we're looking at the energy for the weekend, um, seeing what potential there is for us to work with, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And as always, since we're looking at energies, um, I always encourage everyone to keep an open mind and to take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to that. Um, and if you are interested, you can uh, get a New Year special, um, which is a 20% discount on yearly forecasts and also six month forecasts. Um, the link to that is in the description box below. There's also a pop-up that should be popping up somewhere um, in the upper corners um, that can take you directly to the specials page. All right, so let's have a look. Well, we have beautiful energy, and it makes sense. You know, it's it's a um, special weekend. It's a significant weekend. So I'm going to take you through the cards um, and then tie the messages together. So we have Apricot, Rejoice and Laugh. The number is 20. We have Finish What You've Started. You started something important and now it's time to complete it. So again, that energy of completion that has been around us for quite some time. We also have share. When you share, everyone feels happy. And I thought, you know, this is nice because it's, you know, probably um, sharing your time, your energy with people, uh, exchanging gifts, that sort of thing. Share your joy and bring other people joy as well. And we also have true. Um, what Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So for me, this card is about honesty. It is confirmation that you're in touch with your intuition. Whatever question you have that's kind of been nagging at you um, and it's been um, kind of, you know, rumbling around in your mind back and forth over and over again. Um, the cards are saying, you know, your intuition is correct. So the way you see things probably is what is actually going on. And it's also a card that reminds us to be honest with ourselves and with those that we love, those who we love. And, you know, for, for me in particular, um, honesty is a sign of respect. So if I care about someone, if I respect someone, I will be honest with them. If they say something that is hurtful, if they say something that is insensitive to me, um, any whatever the case may be, whatever the situation may be, if I don't feel like doing something, if I have questions for them, if I have a problem with them, uh, or something bothering me, anything like that, I respect them enough to be honest with them and to discuss what's going on so that we can clear it and move on in a healthy direction. So I feel like it could be revealing um, information this weekend because we also have when it comes to the tarot cards we have the moon and the moon can talk about revelations it can talk about secrets um, unknown information or hidden information very very sensitive energy with the moon very emotional energy we also have the eight of wands in the center of the reading and the eight of wands is traveling moving forward going back and forth uh, having like a route you know, where you have to visit several people in a couple of days and going back and forth a lot. Um, it's good news, sending out holiday wishes, receiving lots of holiday wishes. It's cheer, it's joyful energy, positive messages going back and forth. And we also have the Four of Wands. And this is also very beautiful because it talks about peace and harmony within the home, peace and harmony within families, um, relationships, stabilizing, um, and um, a focus on harmony, either preserving harmony or restoring harmony when it comes to um, our personal relationships is what this feels like. Okay, so 
if we look at all the cards, um, first of all, rejoice and laugh. Um, and it is a number two, so it does talk about how we react, how we um, relate to other people, okay? How we um, get along with other people. It's partnerships, so it's relationships, how we relate, okay? So um, rejo rejoice and laugh just says, you know, make it a joyful time. Make it a happy time. Um, you know, things don't have to be 100% perfect uh, in order for you to be happy. Uh, or in order for everyone else to be happy, don't put pressure on yourself. If you're a host or anything like that and you have people coming over, don't sweat the small stuff, okay? Don't worry so much about how perfect you can make that dinner. Just focus more on the time you have together, on the harmony that you share, uh, on the positive messages going back and forth, on that emotional bond that you have, which is why they're there, okay? People can eat <laughs> on their own. They don't need to come to your place to eat. Um, hopefully they can eat by themselves but they come for the experience they come to be with you um also it could be a weekend of sharing truth it could be clarifying conversations again the kind of energy i'm getting with this with sharing secrets um is to restore harmony in situations to restore harmony in families um is why we reveal truth why we have clarifying conversations, why we tell someone how we really feel, okay, so that we can be on the same page um, and then move forward in the same direction, okay, continuing to be on the same page, where people share how they feel about each other and the people around them listen, um, accept, embrace, and respect this person for what they have to say, okay, it's that kind of an energy coming together type of energy. Listening, sharing and listening and sharing and listening. Um, finish what you started. I feel that it can also be a weekend of success and completions. The uh, number eight is a card that talks about success and abundance, feeling abundant or feeling successful, like you've accomplished something. Um, and it's also a card that says, let it go, okay? Does it really matter? If it's a difficult conversation, if it's something that hurt your feelings or anything like that, um, does it really matter? Okay, if it does, obviously speak up. Um, but if it doesn't, if it's just, you know, people being stressed out or people being rushed or people under pressure, um, kind of just let it go. You know, don't drag it out. Don't make it about a fight. Okay, the people coming together and having family time, don't make it about arguments. Make it about harmony. Okay, so it just finish arguments, fin finish um, conversations that are hurtful, let it go, okay, put an end to it, focus on the harmony, focus on rejoicing for being together, okay, and uh, clarify the conversation and just let it go, okay, is also what's coming up with these cards. It feels like a very emotional time. Um, but again, it's emotional with the focus on healing, emotional with the focus of um, coming closer to one another, of um, either repairing relationships with friends, with family, uh, with people who we care about, um, whatever may have happened in the past that you know led to confusion or hurt feelings. Um, this is a really good weekend, you know, for people to come together to share their feelings, how they really feel um, about that situation so that it can be resolved, it can be released, okay? And harmony can come back, can be restored. Um, and then stabilizing that relationship is also coming up with these cards. Of course, this is a lot of online communication with the Eight of Wands, very positive, very happy messages going back and forth. Um, between friends and family and co-workers and just everyone, everyone you know and even, you know, people you don't know, like when you walk down the street and you see a stranger but you say happy happy holidays or Merry Christmas and they say the same to you, you share a smile and then you uh, both go about your business. It is that kind of an energy of sharing or, or spreading peace, okay? There's a lot of white doves here. So messages of love and messages that bring peace messages of healing okay coming up with this energy with all these doves um and i feel like that's our focus 
this weekend. That's the energy that surrounds us. So if you want to, um, if we want to ignore it, we can ignore it. If we want to make the best of it, then it is really truthful conversations, honest conversations, putting old arguments to rest, releasing situations that don't serve us, rejoicing for being together, exchanging pleasant words and gifts, and just focusing on the harmony, focus on the family unit, focus on making memories that you will cherish later on. You're not gonna be able to remember petty fights or anything like that. It, it doesn't matter and it, it will be forgotten. But these happy memories and these truthful conversations where people share how they really feel about each other, um, these are the memories that last. These are the memories that always stay with us and actually give us strength when we need it. And of course, it can be that for some of us, you know, with the share energy, this is, um, it could be that if you have the possibility, if it's an option um, to share your wealth and share your joy with um, those who perhaps are less fortunate, again, to bring peace to who we can, to bring peace to who needs it. If we can do that, then that would be wonderful thing to do um always but particularly this weekend because it's the holidays i feel that people are a bit more sensitive um more more vulnerable and so it would be nice if um vulnerable or sensitive people uh, were met with warmth with positive words with well wishes with joy okay it doesn't have to be that you need to uh, share gifts with everyone. It's not necessarily about the gifts, okay? Um, again, the focus is on harmony within relationships, harmony within interactions, how we relate to other people. So I feel that if we can make another person smile this weekend, I feel that that would be a really big gift in itself. And it's a really, it's a really positive message I feel that, you know, it's short and to the point. It encourages us to focus on what matters, to let go of situations that don't serve us, to be honest and tell people how we feel. By that, it doesn't mean just, hey, you kind of um, hurt my feelings a couple of months ago. Yes, it can be that. But again, having that kind of conversation in a very compassionate environment, a very empathetic environment, is really going to help you uh, move forward from that. Um, the way I start a conversation is just to set the tone because otherwise it can just seem like criticism. So just to set the tone, you know, you can say something like, look, I value our relationship and I want it to be healthy and long lasting. Because of that, I really believe that honesty is the best policy here. And so I'm gonna tell you something, I don't want you to take it the wrong way. It's just something that I feel and I feel that I need to express that to you so that you can be aware of it. We can talk about it and then let it go so that we can continue to grow our relationship, okay? Whether it's with a family member, with a friend, with a romantic partner, whatever the case may be. And then you just tell them how you feel, but the tone is already set towards, look, I'm, I'm doing this, it's not easy for me but I wanna do this because I, I value our relationship. And so already it's it feels like we're in this together and let's make it work. And so it can be very, very um, healing and cleansing to have those kinds of conversations. On the other side, you know, if uh, you love someone, if you're grateful to have them in your life, say it, okay, now is the time to do that. Now is the, the, the time to show gratitude, to share your gratitude. And again, it's not just about gifts and presents just saying the words um, will have a very big and positive impact. And it will, you know, create or restore uh, the energy of harmony uh, within those relationships. So it, it, it really feels like something, like a beautiful gift that we receive this weekend, the gift of peace, of joy, and the knowing that we can share our joy and bring joy to everyone else around us, okay? Um, and I feel like, you know, that's a beautiful thing. I think that's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that's our message for this weekend. Thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you for joining me. 
Thank you for all your support. It is truly appreciated. I'm very, very grateful. And I'm sending everyone love. Um, I hope everyone has a really beautiful holiday season with, uh, again, with peace, with love, with harmony, laughter. Laughter is important. And um, just harmonious interactions with everyone, really, that bring peace. Um, and um, I will be speaking to you really, really soon, okay? Um, just wanted to say happy holidays one more time. Thank you very much for your support. Um, I hope have, everyone has a beautiful, beautiful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.